Hi, this is Charity Adams with Adams Acres Scrapping, and I wanted to show you how to make these two interlocking hearts. It's pretty easy. So, with the new SCAL 2, with the, the latest version that you just download at Craft Edge, you will get the option to use um, some new features called Path Features. First of all, what we're going to do is just create a couple of simple hearts with our Shapes Library. So, I've got one there, and I'm going to use this view here, Show Outlines and let's make it about yay big by yay big we're gonna copy it paste and I want it to be um, the same size I just want it to be smaller so I'm gonna use keep proportions and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so now I have my base my two interlocking hearts and we're going to group those together because when I move one I want to move the other that just means they're grouped together. Now I want to make the interlocking heart, so I'm going to copy this whole entire group, edit, copy, edit, paste, now I have two, and this is where I want them to overlap, right in here. Now before when we used SCAL, if you would do a weld, you're going to end up with a different image you're going to see that it's it's not going to give you the interlocking it's not going to give you that space in between here so we don't want to really weld them together what we want to do is we want to union them together so we want this union and this union we want this to be white space and we want this to be white space so grab both of, both of them select path we're going to create a union and now let's take a look at what we're going to cut now you see you have two interlocking hearts. So this is Charity Adams with Adams Acres Scrapping at AdamsAcres.com. Stop by and use some of our free S-Cut 2 and SVG files and have a great day.